You studied phrasal verbs in this unit. For example, sit down, figure out, or look forward to. Let's take a look at these multi-word verbs again. Paul is telling his friend Mark about his sister and brother. Listen to what he says. They're so different. Anna lives for her job. She usually takes work home with her, and she'll stay up until it's done. As for Matt, well, he's a really relaxed kind of guy. He'll try something out, but if it doesn't work, he'll come up with a new idea. He's quite creative. Paul says, Anna lives for her job. Live for is a phrasal verb or multi-word verb. A phrasal verb is a verb with one or two particles. Particles are prepositions or adverbs such as for, in, out, up, down, on, off etc. Phrasal verbs are common in spoken and informal English. Paul uses some others. Stay up, try out, and come up with. Come up with is one of the phrasal verbs that has two particles, up and with. Sometimes the meaning of a phrasal verb is clear. For example, sit down or pick up. When the meaning is not obvious, you need to learn phrasal verbs as new items of vocabulary. For example, come up with means think of. Some phrasal verbs need an object, like live for something. These are known as transitive verbs. Some verbs don't have an object, like stay up. These are intransitive. There are four types of phrasal verb. Let's look at a table. Transitive phrasal verbs need an object. Sometimes the object comes before the particle, make something up. And sometimes it comes after the particle, look after somebody. Type 2 phrasal verbs have some rules. When the object is a long noun phrase, it usually comes after the particle. For example, I picked up the book that she dropped. However, when the object is a pronoun, like it, me, or somebody, it almost always comes before the particle. For example, she dropped her book, I picked it up. When the object is a short noun phrase of up to three words, it can come before or after the particle. For example, I picked her book up, or I picked up her book. Some phrasal verbs can be both transitive and intransitive. For example, I wake up very early, intransitive, or I need an alarm clock to wake me up. Transitive. When you are ready, go to the activity. Is the grammar correct? 
Choose yes or no. That's correct. We say, I threw it away yesterday, and she tried out the new swimming pool in the hotel. That's it. You've come to the end of the language check. Use it again any time you want to revise phrasal verbs.